I'm Melissa Carey, and today I'm at the Pittsburgh Foundation with Grant Oliphant. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Joyce Rothermel and the impact that she's had on the community and how the Pittsburgh Foundation has worked for her. Thank you so much, Grant, for meeting with me. It's a pleasure. Um, what can you tell me about Joyce? Yeah. You know, the amazing thing about Joyce is, um, and how I got to know her, is that you know, I noticed I'd go to events and there'd always be this person there. Um, quietly participating until it was time to speak and then she'd throw in some really weighty question. Uh, Joyce is ever present in the community as an advocate for her cause and her organization and the people that she serves. Uh, what's amazing to me about, about Joyce is that presence, the power of her presence. Uh, she's as close to ubiquitous as a human being can be um, where it counts for her organization. And what have you seen as, uh, you know, part of the Pittsburgh Foundation mm -hmm. in conjunction with her and the Greater Pittsburgh yeah. Community Food Bank? Well, you know, it's interesting since I've come into the role as head of the Pittsburgh Foundation. Um, it happens to have coincided with a period of our economic history in this country and in this region where we've had a lot of struggles. And a lot of the struggles on the economic front have affected the uh, um, large portions of our population in terms of their basic needs. So food and shelter and utilities and transportation. Nobody, in my experience, has been more effective in making the case for the services that she provides than Joyce. Uh, she has been everywhere. Uh, she's drawn on everybody and she is constantly creating opportunities for the community to know what the problem is and contribute to a solution. That's about as effective as you could ask somebody in a nonprofit role to be. What do you think that she would uh, want us to do to keep up that momentum, to keep up the things that, um, that she has set forth mm -hmm. either as a foundation or as community members? It is incredibly difficult to imagine the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank without Joyce at the helm. So that's going to be a transition we're all going to have to wrap our heads around, including, I imagine, Joyce. <laughs> and um, and it's, you know, it's hard when you've had somebody who's been both in a role for a long period of time um, and who's been so uh, quietly aggressive about the way that she that she manages the task it's going to be hard for any of us to to wrap our heads around the fact that she's not in that role anymore but change affects us all and um, you know it's it's a truism in management that anybody is replaceable um, it's tough to imagine replacing Joyce these are huge shoes to fill um, I suspect that because she's done so much work to create a great organization, though, the organization will successfully make this transition. Um, and we all have to greet with open arms her successor, who you know, has the unenviable task of trying to fill those shoes. But it's such an incredibly important community role. You know, what, what this organization does in terms of helping to make sure that people in our community don't go hungry. Um, that's a role that remains necessary long after Joyce is gone, long after I'm gone from this role, long after you've stopped interviewing people. Uh, the, the challenge, unfortunately, these basic needs are always going to be with us. And, um, and so it's really important that we rally around the next phase uh, for the food bank. It's tough to adequately do justice to Joyce in just a few minutes. Uh, I do think that she's unique among nonprofit execs that I've seen. She is absolutely relentless. Um, she is constantly creating opportunities for people to take note of, of the work that the food bank does, constantly bringing new people into the work of it, um, quietly present whenever there's a meeting that may have anything to do with the issues that she cares about. Uh, and always ready to ask the difficult and impolitic question. So, um, you know, I've sat in meetings where somebody asks in kind of a rhetorical way, well, does anybody object to that? 
and there'll be this voice in the back of the room and this, this um, relatively short woman will stand up and say, yes, I do. <laughs> and the whole room will freeze and take notice. And I, I, I just think it's the power of, again, I come back to the idea of the power of presence. What Joyce has is the ability to be totally 100% present with the people that she's talking with and with the people that she's working on behalf of. And that's why she has such tremendous power. It's because she is there and she's there for the people that she cares about and she's there for the community. And so it's really hard to imagine that she won't be there. And she probably will be. And still she probably will still be. Yes. In some capacity. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. My pleasure. Thanks it's for uh, nice thanks for taking the time to talk about Joyce with me. And you as well. Yeah. Thank you.